everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Becker Designs. I've got a really fun card for you today. Um, I love doing cards where it's kind of a spectrum of colors. And I got these colors from um, the Stampin' Up! Uh, concept art uh, creative challenge. It's a hashtag you can find on Instagram. And I loved these colors. So I went with it and I made this kind of a shovel rainbow. I'm using the Home and Garden Bundle from the 2022 Stampin' Up! Mini Spring Catalog. And we're just using the shovel. That's it. The sentiment I'll show you is from a different stamp set. Um, when we get there, I'll show you. So the colors I am using are pumpkin pie, kale papaya, old olive, Misty Moonlight and Balmy Blue. Now, Misty Moonlight is a retiring color. So at the time of me making this video, it is still available, but you never know when it's going to run out. Now we're gonna stamp the shovel in each of these colors on the same color of cardstock. Now we're gonna need to clean our, our stamp in between each time as well. All right, let's start with balmy blue on balmy blue cardstock. And when I go from balmy blue to misty moonlight, I probably don't need to clean my stamp just because it's a darker shade of the same color, but we do need to clean it before we go to old olive and clean it really good before we go to pale papaya. And then probably we're okay to go to pumpkin pie without cleaning it. All right, there we go. Now, before I cut them out, I'm gonna take this the dark Stampin' Blend for each color, and I'm go going to color in just that handle part and the middle part of the, the middle part of the long part. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so now Old Olive. The darks um, look dark, really dark at first, but as they dry, they kind of lighten up. Um, and if you use the light, it won't show up. It'll be too light. So use the dark of each color. Now, Misty Moonlight is very dark. The dark is very dark. So get use the light for that. So that's the one that's a little bit different. Okay. So let's close these up and we'll cut them out. And as we cut them out, we're gonna save a little bit of each color of cardstock to cut out a flower that I'm gonna put on each shovel. All right. Spoke what ideas can become The journey to our destination is what we remember today. All right, now that I have those cut, I'm just going to take the end piece here and cut each of these off. And we're going to cut a flower. This is just an easier way to do it. Um, I have the hydrangea die that looks like this. And we can get them all cut at the same time, which is really awesome so i'm going to put these here and just kind of stretch that across make sure that there's at least one centered on each one let's see if i can do it like that hopefully we'll get a complete flower on each one this is just me trying to save time you could do them one at a time if you want but i love when we have a die that cuts out the same, you know, lots of the same image. So there we have a, a um, balmy blue, a pumpkin pie. We have a, we're gonna need to do one more of that. See, I cut that one in half. Let's get all of those off. Now there's some other things that we need to do also. Let me cut this one out and then I'll show you. No scrap goes unused around here, I'm telling you. Every little piece. There we go. Now, if you don't have this die, look around at your flowers. You can use, you know, any small flower will do. Now, I have cut out ahead of time a stitched, or no, it's not stitched, a scalloped rectangle from the contour scallop dies. Then I have this little rectangle, and we're going to 
um, use the greenery die on it. it. It just puts it puts stitching all over the die. It doesn't cut anything out, but it adds stitching, which is really kind of cool. All right. Let's see. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? All right, now we're ready to start putting this together. We're gonna take our basic white scalloped rectangle. Let's save that, let's do it on this one first. Um, I'm gonna put these up, down, up, down, starting with the blues, then going to the greens, and then the oranges. And I just kinda, I'm gonna kinda lay them down, kind of eyeball them, and they really just kind of fit perfectly. All right, so I'm going to start in the middle and I'm going to take one big dimensional and put on the top and one small dimensional and put down by the handle and we'll put that one right there. All right, now let's do the balmy blue. Now, if you're worried about getting these straight, get out your grid paper, a ruler, that'll help you keep them. Whoops, I forgot to take the paper off of that one. That'll help you get them straight, but honestly, I'm just I'm just gonna eyeball them. And you know, our dimensionals are great adhesive, but they're also easily pulled up if you need to. Usually I can pull it up once and it's still sticky enough to stick again. So that's why I'm not terribly worried about this being exactly right. All right, one more. And we'll be ready to do our flowers. Now I feel like this is a really beautiful spring color palette, but you know, you could do an ombre, you could do brights, you could do subtles. You know, I mean, the options are unlimited, really. All right, now let's add a flower to each of our um, shovels. And I'm gonna kind of make it poke up a little bit. Let's get our putty nice and in the right place. And then we'll stick that down. Just kind of want to bend it up a little bit, give it some dimension. Okay. And last but not least, our Misty Moonlight. There we go. All right. Now we're going to put a pearl in the center of each of these. I'm going to give it some time to dry, but we also need to give the pearls some time to dry. I'm going to take each of my same colors and I'm going to color a pearl for each one. These are alcohol markers, so the, the ink will dry nicely and give us the exact right color that we need for the center. Okay, so now that balmy blue is pretty light. I'm gonna add a little bit more. There we go. All right, so let's give those some time to dry. And while we're waiting on that. All right, the sentiment I'm using is from the All Things Fabulous stamp set, which is on the last chance list. It may have actually already sold out, but look through your stamps, find one that works for the occasion that you need it. Um, I wanted something a little bit narrow, um, so and I liked the way that this one looked. It says, you make flowers smell sweeter and the sun shine brighter, which is great to go with our shovels. The reason I'm using the Stamparatus is because I want to do my words in different colors. Now, you can always do the words um, with your markers, um, but I'm going to do some masking um, for these because I'm going to actually do them if I stamp them together they're too close to cut apart so I'm going to stamp the two sentences completely separate that way I can um, 
cut them apart in strips. Now I'm gonna mask off and I'm gonna start with the top. So I'm gonna mask off the bottom completely and then I'm gonna mask off the, the last word. All right, and I'm gonna take my Misty Moonlight. Nope, my, yes, Misty Moonlight, yes. Suddenly it sounded wrong. Ink that up, take off my Post-it tape and stamp that down. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm gonna clean it each time. This time, we're gonna take our Post-it tape and we're going to mask everything except for the word sweeter. And this time we're gonna use pumpkin pie. The one trick to remember is to remove your post-it tape. All right, there's our first sentence. You make the flowers smell sweeter. Now I'm gonna move the paper up a bit so that the words are separated. Wipe it down. And I think we'll just do, let's cover up the top completely. And we'll do the word brighter. So only leaving the word brighter exposed. I'm going to take my pale papaya and remove my tape and stamp that right there. Now my photopolymer stamp is picking up that paper. It's a little bit sticky. So just stick your scissors in there. Hold it down. Okay. Last but not least, we're going to do the bottom sentence now again in misty moonlight. Let me close that up, grab the misty. I feel like we're doing surgery or something here. And there we go. And the sun shine brighter. Perfect. Now we're just going to take our trimmer <clears throat> and I'm going to cut these sentences down. Just, I just want skinny strips. So use your trimmer and cut them to just frame out those sentences. Let's see, that one needs to come up a little bit like that. And like that, and we are ready to finish up our card. All right, let's bring back our shovels. First, let's put our pearls on there in the center of each flower. Whoops, there we go. Pumpkin pie, pale papaya, old olive, and misty moonlight. Nope. Marina Miss, nope, yes, balmy blue. <laughs> oh my goodness, Marina Miss is a very old color. All right, now we've got this scalloped white rectangle and we are going to frame this right here like this. And then I'm gonna get my two strips and I think I'm gonna use many dimensionals if I have them, yep, they're over here for these. I love mini dimensionals, but they are a little bit trickier because they're so tiny. All right. You make the flowers smell sweeter and the sun shine brighter. All right, last but not least, we're gonna put it on a basic white card base. Now, I wanted to try the same concept using something else from the 
same home and garden stamp set. So I pull out the ladders. I'll show you that card in a second. The only problem is that the ladders are much bigger. Okay, oh, one, one, wait, 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 we're not done, we're not done. You know me, I've gotta have a bow. And I think the linen thread is perfect for this. It's kind of home and garden-ish, something you might find at the hardware store. And we'll put this on, kind of balance this out with that right there. Okay, so there's your completed card. Here's the original. But let me show you the uh, ladders. Now, the ladders are much bigger. So I had to make my card base a five by seven. All right, it's the exact same concept. Just I just used the uh, ladder and my pieces were bigger. I couldn't use the scallop rectangle because it was too small. So I just framed it with a regular piece of basic white. All right, you guys, there it is. I hope you like these. These, This is one of my, really, my favorite cards in a long time. Uh, make sure you click the link here on YouTube, hop back over to my blog. There's a free PDF as well as two other home and garden projects. Um, and I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.